Konnichiwa! Welcome back! In this video, we will learn new Japanese grammar from the Mina no Nihongo textbook, Lesson 3. If you're ready, let's begin! In this lesson, we will learn the following grammar points. The first grammar points are words that describe places or position of objects. For example, koko, here, soko, or there, asoko. Over there, koko describes the place where the speaker is. Soko is a little bit far from the speaker, and asoko is very far from the speaker. The polite way of saying koko is kochira. For soko, it's sochira. And for asoko, it's achira. These words also mean this way or this direction. For example, this way is Kochira. That way or that direction is Sochira. And that direction over there or that way over there is Achira. And the very casual way of saying these words are Kochi or Koko, Sochi or Soko, Achi or Asoko. Next is the grammar pattern N1 wa, N2 which is a place, followed by this, n1 wa, n2 this. If you remember, we learned this pattern in the very first lesson. So this explains where a place, a thing, or a person is or is located. n1 is on or in n2. For example, the restroom is over there. Restroom or bathroom is toilet. N1 wa toire wa asoko. Over there. Toire wa asoko desu. The restroom is over there. Or the polite way of saying toire is otearai. And the polite way of saying asoko is achira. So if you want to be more polite, you say otearai wa achira desu. Next example is the computer section is on the first floor. If you are in a department store and you're looking for the computer section, you say, Pasokon Uriba. Pasokon is computer. Uriba is the department or section or where they sell computers. Pasokon Uriba wa on the first floor. If you check the vocabulary list for this lesson, you would remember that on the first floor or first floor is Kai. So to complete the sentence is Pasokon Uribawa Ikkai des. Third example Miss Saito is in the conference room. Saito san. Saito san wa conference room is Kaigishitsu. So the sentence goes like Saito san wa Kaigishitsu des. You can also say this in another pattern. Saito san wa it's the same meaning. Saito-san is in the conference room. But you would learn that pattern in lesson 10. So for the meantime, you can also say Someone wa place this. Someone is in this place. Next are the words doko, which means where, or dochira, which is the polite way of saying doko, or it also means which way? So, if you want to ask the question, where is N? Or, which way is N? The pattern is, N wa doko or dochira desu ka? N wa doko desu ka? Or, N wa dochira desu ka? For example, where is the toilet? Let's use the N1 wa Doko or dochira desu ka pattern. N is toilet. Toire. Toire wa doko desu ka? Asoko desu. It's over there. So you don't have to repeat toire wa asoko desu. You just say asoko desu. It's there. It's over there. Another example. Which way is the conference room? So conference room is kaigisutsu. Kaigisutsu wa which way? Dochira. 
。会議室はどちらですか ?Which way is the conference room?It's that way. そちらです。So this pattern N1 はどこですか can also be used to ask the name of the country, company, or school a person belongs to. For example, the question, where are you from? or what country are you from? Country is 国 So, 国はどちらですか So, I use the polite way of where, which is どちら国はどちらですか Another way of asking this question is どこから来ましたか So, where are you from? It's the same meaning. Another question is, what is the name of your school? 学校 which is school. 学校はどこですか So, literally, this means where is the school. But depending on the conversation, the, the speaker might be asking the name of your school. Another example is, what company do you work for? 会社は So, company is 会社。会社はどちらですか The literal meaning of this is where is the company? Next is N1 no N2. So, this pattern appeared in both lesson 1 and lesson 2. So, there are other uses for this pattern. The first one is N1, which is a country, no N2, product. Which means N2 is made in N1. For example, Italian shoes. So N1 is Italia or Italian. Shoes or N2 is Kutsu. So Italian shoes in Japanese is Italia no Kutsu. Next, N1. Could be a company. No N2 product. N2 is made by N1 or the company. For example, Apple smartphones. So the company is Apple no smartphone. Apple no smartphone or Apple smartphones. And lastly, N1 could be unknown. So, how do we ask where a product is made or which company made a certain product? For example, where is this bag made or who is the maker of this bag? This or kore or this bag, kono kaban, kore wa doko no kaban desu ka? Where is this bag made? Kore wa doko no kaban. So, doko is unknown. So, N1 is unknown. So, we replace the company or the country with doko. Doko no kaban desu ka? So, if you're getting confused about N1 no N2 pattern, just think of N1 as the owner. So, the first word is always the owner and followed by no and then N2. So, N2 is always the object or the person. That belongs to N1. So the owner should always come s first. So for example, IBM no kaishain, IBM's employee, or my bag, watashi no kaban, Italian shoes, Italia no kutsu, and so on. So, next is just the summary of all the demonstrative words that we have learned so far. So, some of them would begin with ko or this, either a thing or a person, or so, which means that, that thing or a person, or a, a thing or a person, or and the question starts with do. For example, this thing, kore. Or this thing or person, kono noun, kono kaban, kono hito, or this place, koko, 
or this direction, kochira. For so, or that, that thing, sore. That thing or person, sono noun, sono enpitsu, sono hito. That place, soko, or that way, or that direction, sochira. And for the a, or that over there column, that thing that thing over there are or that thing or person over there mm, for example ano hito ano kabang ano home ano camera okay and that place over there asoko or that way over there achira and lastly the column do which means what or where or which for we haven't learned the words dore or dono noun so they just mean which but we've learned the word doko which means where or what place and dochira or which direction or which way lastly the prefix o which shows politeness for example where are you from or what country are you from? So we've learned how to say this sentence, which is N1 wa doko desu ka? Kuni wa dochira desu ka? So dochira is the polite way of saying doko. If we want to be more polite, we add o before the word kuni. O kuni wa dochira desu ka? You would also hear this in the sentence, what's your name? Namae is the word for name. So you add o before the word namae. O namae, o namae wa nan desu ka? What's your name? How old are you? How old is oikutsu? Oikutsu desu ka? Ikutsu by itself means how many. The casual way to say oikutsu is nansai. Nansai desu ka? Notice that we don't have the word you or your, which is anata or anata no in the Japanese sentences because it is already obvious that you are asking about the person you are talking to. So just like how we dropped watashi, for example, rose desu. I'm rose, but I don't say watashi wa rose desu because it is already obvious that I'm talking about myself. So same thing here. You don't have to put anata all the time if it's obvious. But if you want, you can say for the first example, anata no kuni wa dochira desu ka? For the second example, anata no namai wa nan desu ka? And for the third one is, anata wa oikutsu desu ka? If you really want to say the word you or your. Okay, so let's review the grammar points that we've learned today. The first one is, the demonstrative words or words that describes the position or location of a thing, object, or a person, which are koko, soko, asoko, kochira, sochira, achira. The second grammar point that we've learned is n1 wa n2 or place this. So this describes the position of an object or a person or a place. For example, kaban wa Asoko desu. The bag is over there. Okay, we also learned how to ask the question, where is noun? Or which way is something? En wa doko desu ka? En wa dochira desu ka? Next, en one no en two. Or en two is made in or by noun one. And next are the demonstrative words that starts with ko, so, a, and do. For example, koko, soko, are, dochira, and so on. And lastly, the prefix o, which shows politeness. O namae, o kuni, oikutsu. Now, it's time for our conversation practice. So, the expressions that we would practice for this conversation are very useful when you are going shopping. So, let's take a look at the first one. Excuse me, sumimasen. Where is the camera section? Kamera oriba wa doko desu ka? 
It's in the third floor. 三階でございます。Thanks. どうも。Excuse me, could you show me that camera? すいません、そのカメラを見せてください。Yes, here you are. はい、どうぞ。Is this made in China? これは中国のカメラですか中国 is China. No, it's made in Japan. いいえ、日本のカメラです。How much is it? いくらですか ?53,500 yen. 5万3500円です。5万 is 50,000。3000 3000 is 3000 500 is 500 So it's 5万3500円です。Well then, I'll take it. じゃあ、これをください。Now, are you ready to try the conversation with me? You will be the customer, which is A, and I'll be the salesperson, which is B. Try and say the following sentences in Japanese. I will be B, and you will be A, or the customer. So you will begin. Are you ready? Here we go. Sangai de gozaimasu. はい、どうぞ。いいえ、日本のカメラです。5万3500円です。So that's it for today's lesson. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or clarifications, please comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss any of the future lessons. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Mata ne!